It really started when I saw what happened the first weekend when um, Eddie and Adam and some others went to the Jefferson Memorial and were thrown on the ground and put in chokeholds and such by the park police there. And I decided that what I saw on the internet was wrong and I should do something about it. So the next weekend I uh, came down and just hopped on the bus. Um, and went down there and danced with everyone. And by the end of it, I was one of probably about five left in there. We danced for 30, maybe 45 minutes until a court liaison actually came up to us and talked about the process in which we would be arrested, trying to get us to leave, you know, by saying that. Um, he told me that he was going to take my backpack away for the rest of however long the court process took as evidence. Evidence of what? Dancing? You need a backpack to dance? I don't, you know, it's just intimidation there. But uh, despite what he said, I kept dancing until I felt that I proved my point. And then I walked out under my own power, not being dragged by the state or uh, in handcuffs. And I think that a really important aspect of that was the uh, media presence and just the number of people who were filming it. Because the court liaison and the officers who sort of surrounded us and spoke to us at the end, they didn't do anything until they had at least maybe a 10 to 1 ratio on us in that rotunda. Until they'd forced most of the people out, they weren't going to move because they knew how it would look. If everyone could see what was going on and how they couldn't do anything in the face of numbers of dancers. So